Hey guys, this is Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights. I'm here today to do a post review on Love Machine by Leilani Joy. This is from Dime Moon Shop. This is a 30 by 38. And um, this was part of an experiment that I was doing with a Dime Moon Shop's um, sizing as far as their pictures go. Um, if you're unfamiliar with their shop, you can um, go on and pick the size that you would like of a certain image. So for instance, this one was offered, the small size was 30 by 38, then there's a medium size and a large size. This is also offered in round um, candy. They call them candy, but they're, um, they're also called crystal drills elsewhere. And then in rounds, did I say that? So square, candy, and round. This picture, um, as far as the crystals go, I think rendered a lot better than the last crystal one that I did. Um, it's it's a little bit more visible, and especially I think in this bottom area, it's definitely more rendered. Um, where it gets fuzzy again is in the top. Um, and there's some stuff with her hair that I don't know translated as well with the crystals um i do have to say that um like in my last video a lot of people had brought up and i do think this is the case that crystals can be harder to do an image just because there is not a large variation in crystal colors like you have with your typical dmc and so um, you're not necessarily able to get such a great, um, even though there was 35 colors, there's still, it's more difficult sometimes to get more defined images within, with crystals. Um, I talked to um, Brandy with You Can Call Me Butter. She, by the way, her channel name is the best. <laughs> go check out her channel if you haven't yet. Um, I will link it below. But she actually did this one in the largest size. And um, so she sent me a picture. I will put a picture in right now um, of that. And then I will give you a picture of this one and then those kind of side by side. So I will put that in right now. So as you can tell, the larger size renders a lot better and it's more clear. Um, um, Randy did say the only problem was is that hers was slightly wrinkly that she just couldn't get to get straight. So they were gonna send her a new canvas. Um, so besides the canvas being a little wrinkly, this one is a little wrinkly as well. Um, but to be honest, I traveled with this. So, um, <laughs> That could be a factor. Um, but I think as far as this image goes, it just it just definitely looks better in the larger size, which most most do. <laughs> size matters. <laughs> um, uh, parts of the things that I... Okay, let me actually show you too, though, what the original image looks like. I guess I should have probably showed that first, but for the sake of just... Let me find it in my logbook. So, um, this is the image that we are looking at. So, overall, I do think that you can see some things pretty clear in the small size. Like, you can see the hearts um, that are dripping. You can see her drink glass very well. Um, her top. You can see the stripes. Um, I do think her eyes actually look really good for this size, and um, I think you can tell that these are bottles. But I don't know that if you didn't know what the original image was, that you could tell anything that was on these bottles. Um, in the picture, they all have very distinct things on them, which would be hard in a smaller rendered painting. So that's why I am I just don't know that I would necessarily think that they could be included in, in a smaller size painting. 
The one thing that I did not understand was why her hair right here, if you can see, is, is pink, is light pink when it gets darker in the image. And so as you can see, instead of these going darker, the they actually go lighter, which I kind of think the darker might have helped define it better. Um, how it goes lighter is it blends in with this background. And um, it kind of almost makes that silver background look like it's actually part of her hair instead of the transition of color into, you know, in the background. Um, so there's that. I do think that in a, in a regular drilled one, that might actually look better. But um, as far as this one goes, it's like crystals. I do think this is an incredibly neat image to have in crystals. <laughs> like like the vibrant colors is really neat. So I'm really tempted to do this one in the large version. I think it would be really fun. Um, as far as the quality goes of the stick of this canvas, I didn't have any issues. Um, there were, I, I just didn't really have any problems with this canvas. Um, like I said, it is a little wrinkly. That is um, my fault because it did travel with me. And so um, <laughs> it kind of got moved around a lot and rolled up a couple different times. Um, so I'm, I'm not judging it too harshly. Um, I do have to say this was a actually a good canvas to travel with. It, it actually traveled pretty well and I don't really even feel like some of these wrinkles are very noticeable. It just kind of looks that way on camera, but it's, not really in real life. Um, the the drills, I, for the most part, had really great quality drills. I had them in this case. And if you can tell, I have so many crystals left over, like so many crystals. Um, yeah, and so many vibrant colors. So that is, um, whoops. So that is something definitely that I can use in other projects. I did have a quite a bit, I think, of trash for this piece, but I will be honest, um, this is mostly the wrong color in the wrong bag. So because there were so many and I didn't have to worry about it, um, when I just dumped the bag straight into the containers, if I containers, when I put the containers out onto like my tray and shook them, there was different colors. I just threw them in my trash bin because, um, I just, you know, that, that's, I didn't have time for <laughs> anything <laughs> else there. So that was just easy. And because I was traveling, it was really nice to just have this tray that just holds your drills in really well. And I could have my little trash bucket, um, in here. So I have to say I really like this for traveling. Um, would I recommend this painting in the smallest size? Just depends. I think it's how much you like it, how much you want to work on it. Um, I don't know that this is necessarily something that would look super great, like framed if you wanted to put it on the wall or display it. Um, it is expensive for just a fun project. Um, so I think if you were wanting to do this to display, I would definitely go with a larger, larger version. Um, but if you're just doing it to put in your portfolio and you just think it's fun, I do think the crystals are a fun addition to do this piece in. Um, I just don't know that it renders the best in the smallest size. <laughs> so, um, I this is my thoughts on this piece. Let me know what you think. Um, I have since completed my third piece and so I'm excited to share that with you guys and show you. Um, be looking forward to that on the channel. Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!